certain government programs have been devised and implemented exclusively to take care of this type of uh, emerging issues. For example, recently the government has started implementing automatic driver's license in almost all the blocks. They are pro uh, proposing uh, to establish automatic driver's license, and most of the blocks already they have established, and uh, they provide real-time uh, data. So I think that uh, is one of the starting point. Our university is also actively involved. Our university is implementing it. So uh, they get the real-time data and they use it for weather forecasting. And uh, I think this is one of the most important measures which is related to tackling climate change impacts on agriculture. And apart from that, uh, there has been also a lot of efforts in promoting insurance, crop insurance, which is of course a sort of management, uh, risk management, which will provide a um, uh, and there is poor management options to the farmers. This uh, project is uh, almost is an, uh, methodology, uh, new methodological development, I should say. People have been working in the uh, compartmentalized uh, disciplinary mode. And in this admin particular project, they have been, um, it is designated as something called uh, protocol based research. We have all a set of procedures or protocols to be applied uniformly in different countries and different locations so that uh, a specific set of uh, uh, projections, uh, possible future projections from out of a large number of GCM studies, they can be taken as the basis. And of, uh, similarly, some selected um, uh, crop models are used and these are combined. These, uh, uh, Future projections from selected uh, GCMs, they are combined in the crop models and the basic management data. So, in terms of um, the nutrients, uh, how exactly the farmers manage uh, the crop production cycle. So, those inputs are obtained from economic surveys from the households. So, formerly people used to have the crop models simulating uh, the crop is based on the projected uh, future uh, climates using standardized uh, experience, but in this case we are trying to use actual farm situations, you know, how the farmers are managing the crop. So they also enter as inputs to the crop model. On the other side, we get the crop, crop climate changes from the uh, climate level. So we will try to integrate and then predict what is likely actual outcomes at the farm or uh, field level. So this is again viewed in a system setting. So we take as, I mean, take your household survey, try to identify the crops that are grown there, and try to use crop models to predict the future yields of as many crops uh, grown by the farmers as possible so that uh, we can build the entire production system for the possible projections of the future outcomes. So once we make the future likely yields, uh, yield projections, then we use uh, some of the economic, uh, standard economic tools to try to assess the impact in terms of the income levels of the farms. So that, uh, and from that we try to build our indicators uh, impact in terms of per capita income changes or employment changes. So that is the major objective of the submit project. So we are trying to bring in, I mean bringing all the other disciplines together in an agreed framework based on protocol and using actual farm situations to assess the possible future. So this project, I say one, uh, the first part I, I have mentioned we are doing trying to project the likely yields and everything, the impact of the climate. And then we also try to assess uh, some, uh, some of the implications of adaptation options. What type of adaptations can be introduced? Say, for example, if the project that is going to be changes in the rainfall pattern, then probably some of the adaptations would be changing in the rates of soiling or some, uh, some similar adaptations. So, what such adaptations uh, can be used to that we try to assess in uh, not uh, uh, based on past studies or literature, but we also conduct what we call the stakeholders meeting, farmers and the policy makers. And we have in that uh, interactive meeting, we try to come up with adaptation options, which we try to re interpret in our analysis. So, based on the options, what are the, the outcomes? We conduct some of the policy research and the development. Farmers who would have, don't have much of uh, the I mean, uh, withholding capacity or standing capacity. So I think they will be the most vulnerable. 